Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Arise. Well, last episode, after finishing speaking to the party with Law, we returned to Heverek 35 to give him our decision with the Helgen Quill essentially holding us hostage, telling him that we refuse to let Shion die, even if it is the easiest way to defeat Renner's Great Spirit, as we secured the use of our ship once again. Spending one more night on Date Faisal before we head out to Renner's surface, our party is paired off to talk with those closest to them, as we now view Shion and Alfin having a heart-to-heart. You sure you don't want to get some rest? I can't. I've got too much on my mind. Especially knowing how close our last battle is. How are you doing, Xion? Same as you. Still trying to absorb everything. Remember when it was so simple, we were only fighting all the lords on Dana? <laughs> all of that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. So many fights, so much chaos, so many wonderful people. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I never would have held the blazing sword or looked for something more. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, and like as not long dead. Hey, Alfin. I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Like Hevrecht 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body in Rena and the thorns in me. I need you to promise me, Alfin, that if for some reason we can't get the Rena's Alma back, you'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit, and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength of the Rena's Alma, but it's taken us this far. It's slain lords and beasts. At the very least, it has to be worth a try. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything Listen, that we've- the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. It's a threat to our entire world. Renans and Danans alike. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. We can't second-guess ourselves when the time comes. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'm prepared to fight with absolutely everything I've got. But if it comes down to it, I need you to be prepared too. You should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Xion. I'm going to fight this until the very end. I hope you can forgive me for that. Alfin. Okay, I understand. And I'll forgive you. Shion. So it's a promise then? Yeah, it's a promise. I remember how I felt the first time you touched me. Hmm? My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger behind their eyes. In my entire life, I never had someone willingly reach out to me. But when you reached out to me and gently took my hand, you didn't react at all. It was so easy for you. I don't have words for the shock I felt in that moment. That's because I couldn't feel pain back then. Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. 
And when you did, I felt this warmth that I had never known before. But still, I hate having to see you suffer through it every time you do. You won't have to worry about that for much longer. You think so? I do, because I... Shiana, I, uh... No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everybody get enough rest? We ready for this? Yeah, we should probably get moving. Agreed. Can't stand around waiting all day. Our task is relatively straightforward. We need only to send down to Rena, defeat the Great Spirit, and restore stability to both worlds. We're fighting for a new future for both Dana and Rena. Right. We've come this far. We will save our worlds. That's a promise. Then let's go, everybody. We've got one last wall to tear down. Repairs on your starship are complete. Everything is in working order. Is that you, Hevrek 35? You can see us from where you are? I can. I can see anywhere within the bounds of Dake Faisal. Sounds like someone's a peeping Tom. Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. It has been stuck in this tiny facility for a very, very long time. I have unlocked all functions on your starship. You can now make use of its warp drive. Warp drive? Wait, you mean like what the Red Women used on us? What brought us here? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate it on the starship. They are Helganquil, after all. Using the warp drive, you should be able to breach Rena's atmosphere without being detected. Wait, should? You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding Rena, the ship will be unable to go any further than the surface of the planet. So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have to infiltrate the core by foot. Understood. We gotta go all the way down just... walking? Will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? I have a strange feeling we're going to have to fight them before this is all over. The extinction of my people is inevitable at this stage. As such, it would be illogical to risk the success of the mission in a vain attempt to save my kind. Hmm. We understand. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be about what's illogical. Well, come on, Doe. <clears throat> Hold up. Did you just... You heard the lady. Get going. I have one last question. What? As Sovereign, your identification number indicates that you are well past your predicted life expectancy. Similarly, the Maiden lacks any identification number, as her function should have been rendered unnecessary. Despite this, the two of you continue to exist. Why? Exist because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. All right, time to get back on the Fall Nights. Probably isn't something an observer could understand, is it? I don't know, should we go back and say goodbye to the thing? Hello, the thing. Oh, I can't fast travel to here anymore. 
I can't even fast travel within this place. But hey, 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 love is in the air. Or not, because it's not to be said yet until the fawns are gone. But afterwards, everyone will be so fawny. It'll be unreal. It's unresponsive. It probably only speaks at certain times. Well, I had an R1 then, but I don't. His final side say, it's dead. Well, should we go and land on Rena then? Considering the game is saying, go there. Go there now. Or forever hold your peace. Oh no, I'm supposed to go to landing here, aren't I? Let's go, Doe. Let's go. We'll specifically take off her runner too. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the Hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Xion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. So we're on the destroyed remnants of Rena. Down there, Andros. So this is Rena. This is where everything began, yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. 
ever. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? Nah, I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed! Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? A challenge of a lifetime! So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renis Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Shion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Everything here is a risk, isn't it? I do wonder if I can go back at this point, considering the spaceship is open to me. Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Ren and Rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example, but with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Get to work repopulating the mages then, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess breeding between the uh, Darnans and the Darnans. We'll sort that in time. Where do I go? What do I do? There's multiple paths and I'm just wondering. I can go back and check things out if I want to. That's a quest in Moscow. There wasn't a quest in Moscow before. There was a quest in Olsebek. Olsebek. Wasn't a quest there before. But new things are appearing too. I'm wondering if there might be any new like armor or anything for me to pick up here, there or everywhere. But there's several teleporters and only one active. But yeah, I think it is actually, after a massive story segment, time to try and jump back and do some subquests now that we've picked up armors, weapons, and more. I'm just wondering if we've got access to any more armors, weapons, and more at this point in time. So before I pass through here, because if there are more armors, weapons, and more, they'll come from me getting items from possible enemies in here and more. 
So, shall I step through teleporter number one? People want some of their greens. They want some side quests in the chat. I'm not even kidding. Looks like we've worked into that pit of astral energy. Let's just have a little look at what's actually around here, shall we? I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Keeping up with the Helgen Quills. <laughs> hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No! I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know. Makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat. Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Uh, ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? Fitting the herd that was the hair on Law's head. You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. I think some skits are appearing that were meant to appear a long time ago, but because we've been dealing with the 
cutscene frenzy that happened on Lenigus. Yes. We haven't really got them. Sometimes they're showing up now. Helganquil. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. Level 53? They're not pulling punches. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Take this! An you want That's my deal! Shut him down! Megasonic drop! Coming through! Ha! No! Scarlet Inferno! Do it! Don't leave! In an instant! Impact block! Fall into thine! What level am I? No escape! Shield and face! You're mine! Right Make your way! I am 47 and 46. How did I lose that? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. Have to stay the course. They gave a lot of experience. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? Elegant! We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once before the Renan Great Spirit came along and changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism, a strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In tragedy's aftermath, hope is all we have. Onward to the center as well. Just look at the size of that thing. 
And how Ganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. Oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. In the weird, it is actually really weird. The chat is more interested in me going back and doing side quests at this point than me going further forward. However, what I would postulate is A, we can probably get better weapons, maybe buy some better armors at this point from having come forward to this point, or even find some better armors, which would help us with our side quests, monsters that we know are like level 54 at this point in time. With the monsters here being level 54 and somewhat defeatable quite fast, we can also get experience fast to raise our level quite fast. So there is an interest in continuing for now, is what I'd say. But equally, there is not one, but two teleporters here. So what I would say is we're probably going to unlock teleporters after a point to at least a halfway point and maybe a final point. I don't know. Maybe it's like a quarter way point and a, or like a third way point and a two third point. Maybe it's something like that, right? So that would make a good option to retreat. So I promise, I promise you, we will actually retreat at some point in time. But there is probably a lot to gain from us going forward at this juncture.